Now, let's see what's in there. It's black hearts. Yeah, that sunburn. Oh, that sunburn doesn't feel too good. Good morning, everybody. Today is going to be our very last day in the uh, the Hamas, the Bahamas Exuma Keys. Oh, that sunburn. That sunburn from the first day is really, it's pretty spicy. That's, oof, feels like I just put a bunch of jalapenos over my skin and just started rubbing very profusely. Really weird analogy. We're gonna be going after Wahoo this morning. Never caught a Wahoo, never really went out and targeted Wahoo. I'm pretty positive I've never caught a Wahoo. No, I don't think I've ever caught a Wahoo. Maybe I have. I tell you what though, it's been raining in Texas this entire time I've been here. Uh, pretty excited that I decided to come here, mainly because, I mean, look at it. And they got like a foot of rain in Texas. He showed up. Old Tonto just showed up. Dude, I got the tender shot. Did you roll past the pigs? <laughs> oh, yeah. Get a couple shots of the pigs. That's so good. He's on his back legs. <laughs> Look at it. What is he Look doing? Him. Look at him. He's literally <laughs> standing on his back legs. You were standing down right now. <laughs> you were. What? Look, that deserves something. Just a little bit. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got some skills there, buddy. Some serious skills. Man, you'd be really nice and tasty, wouldn't you? He's doing tricks. You're doing tricks, buddy. Stick your hand in his mouth, see what he does. I'd rather not. Actually, this really his teeth aren't that bad. Yeah, not as bad as a wild one. Yeah, it ain't, ain't too good. It's all that bread. Those ones right there, those are the tasty little dudes. Look at them. Oh, you right there. These little, these little baits, we can throw, these are little moharas, great baits for snapper, but I don't want to kill what we don't need. That's a, this is a ballyhoo, fresh ballyhoo. Ballyhoo have a beautiful shine to them. We're out here, on the ocean, trying to catch fish. It's, it's, it's a nice calm day. It's a sailfish, dude, guaranteed. It was a goliath grouper. I'm really good with my fish species, really good. Phenomenal. Are we going after Golden Dorados? Yeah. That was a little bit bigger. I'm surprised we haven't had more bites. There's the fish. You want to catch them up? Take them. Catch them, Cam. Well, that wasn't much of a fight. Yeah. That could be. <laughs> yep. Almaco Jack. I'm a cold Jack. Mm -hmm. uh, whoa, hey, what's up, Slippery Bottom? Yeah, keep my drop. Uh, drop you go. He wants to keep it? All right. Bahamian's born. Well, I guess everything's going to the meat box today. <laughs> oh, there it is. That was There it is. Got it. That drop back. Yes, sir, I, knew it. I was about to do it for you. That's a nice wahoo, too. Okay. Perfect speed, right here. There we go. Okay. Alright, Rob, I got some good news and bad news. The good news is you got a wahoo on. Yeah. The bad news is we got a wahoo on. Yeah. 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 Ye
so on a good note, I actually did get the link up with the Wahoo. I was, I was about, well, about five minutes. I was feeling kind of like him. I was just kind of having to, you know, when you have to take a breather, because when you just sit down here with this kind of stuff, it's just over and over, just doing this. It happens to everybody's got to take a breath. So just, I kept doing this, trying to cover, trying to, trying to get that perfect position so I didn't just start yakking. He would, well, he's struggling, like real bad. All right, you guys, this right here is Cameroonie, AKA the wild child. Oh my gosh, that's a gigantor. Oh my goodness. That sucker's got a mouth full of teeth, y'all. Whoa, he's alive one, y'all. Yeah, he's he's there. Yeah, he's he's pretty alive, I would say. <laughs> About took that little dodo. Just look at that. Look at that lure. If that was your arm, you'd know about it. I had to get up close and personal. Okay. Take a look at this. Look at that. I'm gonna throw it out there. These guys also own a uh, random private island that you can come and just chill on, which we're gonna do. And we're gonna do a catch, clean, and cook. I'm actually going to clean that wahoo I caught a second ago. I know I didn't talk to you guys right after I caught it, because like I said, I was getting that kind of. Ooh, hold on. I had to find my find my legs again. Find my sea legs. I think he's over there. Uh, Yep, he's writing a, a love message to his wife. Hey, you know what's good about your love message? Is I could just use the same one. Rob oh, loves, I could use the same, same message. <laughs> I'll just pretend like I wrote that. Just keep going. Rob loves Sarah. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, see, it's the same thing for me. So, so we're good. Good, good to go. Jeez Louise. I never in a million years would I ever thought that I'd be on a, some someone else's private island. Clearly, clearly not mine. So this is just absurd to me. I can't get over this. This is literally somebody else's entire island. And they just come and hang out and drink beer. I can I can help them with the drinking beer part for sure. Oh, that's the most peaceful thing to have here. Just kidding, we're not doing the catch cook here. We're completely wrong. They just wanted to show us this place. Basically what I do whenever I clean a wahoo like this, I'll come in here right behind the peck, peck fin, mm -hmm. cut up into his head, make your first cut obviously down the backbone, and then I make a perfect cut right down the dead center, and you'll get this top loin out perfectly, and then you can do the do the bottom one. Perfect. Okay, how far down do you think? Uh, right to the backbone there, perfect. Just do, just do real shallow with the knife right along there. Right along the backbone. Good. So now I would normally take my knife this way and sort of come down until you feel the middle of the backbone. So now what I would do is sort of come right here on, on the center and just pull your knife right down to the middle. You're getting it perfect. That's a perfect top loin. Perfect job. What do you think? So what you what you do here is get that out of the way, cut in there, and go right to there. There's part of your bait. That's when he came in and hit it the first time, that was the, the value that he cut in half. Oh watch it. Cam's not letting a nurse shark get our filet. Good, good, good. Oh, so as you guys clearly just saw, he just taught me how to clean a catch clean, and now we're going to cook. When it comes to cutting up animals, the dude is oh master, master with the knife. Look at the way that's perfect now that we leave. I know, right when we're leaving, man, it's just glass. Oh man, this is gonna suck to have to leave here. I promise you guys. If you guys have not done this, you guys need to do this. I'll leave links to every single thing you need to have. Between the, the airplane, this place to stay, and then of course do everything for dinner. It'll all be linked down below. You guys need to come and do this if you've not done this. It's reasonable. It really is for what you get. 100% worth it. Yep. This is pretty much the behind the scenes of what happens when uh, you get deer meat Ladies on a and gentlemen, plane. We have arrived. I think I'll, I think I'll enjoy this one a little bit better. Yeah, just gonna, just gonna, yeah, this one's a little bit better of a ride. Oh man, so last time I spoke to you guys, I was sitting in the Bahamas, now I'm sitting at a gas station in Florida, but I mean, take a gander at this. You guys see how beautiful it looks when you guys are flying out of there? I was a kid, now that water is absurdly clear. Like, absurdly clear. I've never really dealt with water that clear. But now, now we're gonna do the cooking portion. Are we cooking this thing tonight or what? Are you in the you mood to cook? You might be cooking me tonight. <laughs> 
Now we got an hour drive back. God. We got some traps in the hog. The hog's in a trap for you there. Dang, that's a good size hog in a trap. It wouldn't be normal if I wasn't going to go link up with deer meat before we we're going to go uh, slice up this fish and eat it to come out to his ranch and he's got a little bit of a hog problem here. Well, it's not really a problem. He enjoys it. Look at the ground. In Texas, people would be absurdly pissed. He's got some a couple trapped in here. Oh, look at him. The black one, the little black one and the little gray one are both boar hogs that I've already cut. Okay, what about this one? This That's one's a sow. I've caught her like five or six times. She has no idea it's open. <laughs> <laughs> I just hold my chicken. <laughs> look at her look at her hair raised up in the back. Oh there we go. Now now they see it. There there they go. She, now she's just you're there all alone. Ooh! Go ahead. Come on, you can't be that. Just just turn around and work. The gate's open. There. <laughs> so watch her come booking around. Come booking you wanna, around. If you want to. That sow, I literally have caught her. I think that's the fifth time I've caught her. And although hogs are an invasive species, they are a problem to our land. Out here on this ranch, they're a part of our game. We just saw a bunch of turkeys. We've got deer. we got hogs. We're never going to raise any giant bucks out here. This is just a place for our family to come have a good time. The main reason I use the trap is to catch boar hogs, cut them, and let them go. When you cut them, they become extremely good to eat. And uh, they're, they're worth something then. An old boar hog, you don't want to eat that. Essentially, my eyes, an old, an old uh, boar hog is worth his head being boiled. Maybe just put up on a mantle. So we really went from, we went from the Bahamas, fishing, onto a plane, at a ranch. Okay, so we're getting back to the deer meat for dinner's household. I mean, they got deer all over the wall. Oh, yes, deer. Well, that's not a deer. Deer and, uh, oh, they got a couple non-deers on the wall. You never would have thought deer meat for deer's house did not have deer on the wall. I know we were originally gonna do the catch and cook. We're not gonna be able to do the cooking portion because it is now 8.49. He's about to put his kids to bed. I do not want to get too crazy because you know I can get real wild. So you know what, I'm gonna see you guys back in Texas and you guys know what is about to happen. It has been a crazy adventure. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little toned. I don't want to wait the kids. Cannot wait the kids. So you guys know the deal. Click that video right there if you've not seen that one. Go ahead and do yourself a favor. Click the one right below it if you've not seen that one. And go ahead and do yourself even more a favor. Subscribe, do it, do it. Lemon squeeze out. Love every single one Thanks for hanging out.